Tania, the father of Or Nasha, Or Nahash. These are the men of Re Re Raqqa. Now understand this, straight up and down. You understand? These names are rough. <laughs> you understand? Know These names are tough. They tight. You understand? So don't want to hear nothing about the reading here, man. You understand? Don't want to hear nothing about the reading. <laughs> don't want to hear nothing about the reading. So the of the week. Right. Go right. We're going to bear the burden of the week, like your brother said. So we're going to carry this. We're going to take the lecture if they come. But we're on top as much as we can. Our best we can with the reading, the pronunciation of these names. It's hot. It's hot, though. But the ones that we're focusing on, you're not going to be misunderstood. You're not going to mistake that Caleb is easy. Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, is easy. The kid is like, Caleb, the son of Hezron is easy. The son of Hezron is easy. Show what you got. Read it. First Chronicles 4 and 13. Come on. The sons of Kenaz, Othniel, 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 and Soria. Uh -huh. The sons of Othniel, Hathath, Hathath, and Minothath. Come on. Minothath. <laughs> we got Ophrah, uh -huh. and Syriai, the god Joab, uh -huh. the father of the valley of Chorazim. Chorazim. Right. For they were craftsmen. For they were craftsmen, right? Praise the Lord, read on. And the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. And the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Hold that. And give me that again. First Chronicles 2 and 18. Come on. And Caleb, the son of Hezron, begot children of Azuba, his wife, and of Jeriah. Her sons are these. Stop. So Caleb, the son of Hezron, begot children of his wife, Azuma. This is Caleb, the son of Hezron. A Judite. A Judite. Running down right along in Judah. Now we're here back again. They're mentioning this brother here. Read it again. First Chronicles. First, first Chronicles 4 and 1. The sons of Judah, Pharez, Hezron, and Carmon, and Hur, and Shu, Shubal. Shubal. And it goes on. What's happening here, the sons of Judah, and it's starting to run down the line in Judah. The same close to what's going on here. And this second chapter genealogy covers everything. And, and, and uh, uh, straight down the line. In this fourth chapter now, he's picking out the leaders of certain particular families and things of that nature and just giving up some of their posterity. Right? Read on. First Chronicles 4 yeah, and 13. And the sons of Kenaz. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Come on. First Chronicles 4, four and 14 15. and 15. And the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Aru, Elah, Nam, and the sons of Elah, even Kenaz. And the sons of Jehaliel. And it goes on. Jehaliel is um, a son of, of Hezron. As you can remember right back here. Read that again. Sons of Hezron. First Chronicles 2 and 9. Come on. The sons also of Hezron that were born unto him. Jeremiel. Jeremiel. And Ram. And Ram. And Chalub and Chalubai. And Chalubai. That's Jeremiel. And Ram. And Caleb. Chalubai is Caleb. Now back over here in the fourth chapter. Read it again. First Chronicles 4 and 15, and the sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Aru, Elah, and Naam, the sons of Elah, even Kenaz. Kenaz, stop. Read on. And the sons of Jehaliel, Je Jeremiel, Jehaliel, 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 Ziph, and Zephah, Zeriah, and Azriel. Praise the Lord, I was wrong. This doesn't go back to the, this is not the brother of uh, son of Hezron. Jeremiel is the son of Hezron. Right? Right. Jeremiel. Right here. Right here. Look, Jeremiel is the son of Hezron. Right here. So this is a different brother. This is next Judite. But here, what we focus on is Caleb, the son of Jephunneh. Back here. Hold that. Hold that. Don't lose it. Back here. Ezekiel 47 14. Stop. Bring it back. Read this. Uh, cover it again. Right here. 13 verse. Joshua 15 13. Yes. And unto Caleb. Stop. In this 15th chapter, again, reminding you, this Joshua, the 15th chapter, they covered all the borders of the, of the tribe of Judah, all the way around. And after they did that, read that verse. And this, and the west border, excuse me, Joshua 15, 12. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about, according to their family. Praise the Lord, read it. And unto Caleb. The son of Jephuna. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephuna. Under here, we just, over here, we just made the distinction between two Caleb's. Excuse me. Excuse me. We made the distinction between two Caleb's. Caleb, the son of Hezron, and Caleb, the son of Jephuna. This is Caleb, the son of Jephuna. The same Caleb that stilled the people. That stilled the people that went up in searching land for 40, 40 days. 
with 11 other brothers. And 10 brothers went against the Lord and said, does not go up. While Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun, they said, let's go up. Read it out. And, K and unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, excuse me, Joshua 15, 13. Right. And unto Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah. Right. According to the commandments of the Lord, to Lord. Joshua, even the cities of Arba, the father of Anak, which was the city of Hebron. Praise the Lord. So this is among the children of Judah. Understand this. This is among the children of Judah. They gave Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, among the children of Judah. Bring it out. Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel 47 and 14. Yes. And ye shall inherit it as one, well, as another, as another. Right. So you're talking about the land. Ezekiel has a vision of the new kingdom. And how we're going to get our land in the new kingdom. Read it. And ye shall inherit it as one well as the, another, concerning the which I lifted up my hand to give it unto your fathers. Right. And this land shall fall unto you for an inheritance. Praise the Lord. And this shall be the borders of the land towards the north side from the great sea, the way of Hephlon, as men go down, go to Zadat. That's what it's going to now. Now Ezekiel is doing the same thing that we just did in Joshua. Joshua, the 15 chapters, talked about the whole borders of the tribe of Judah. And the allies are the borders of the tribe of Judah. Now Ezekiel, he's given the borders of the whole land of Israel for all 12 tribes. What we're going to inherit. Read it out. Ezekiel 47, 15. Yes. And this shall be the border of the land towards the north side from the great sea. Right. The way of Hephlon, as men go to Zadad. Praise the Lord. Hamath. Beratha, Beratha, Beria, Beratha, Beratha, okay. Sim, Sib, Ram, okay. Which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath, Hezron, Hattakan, which is by the coast of Havron, Havron, and the border from the sea shall be Hazan, Hazar, Enan, Enan, the border of Damascus. In the north, northward, and the border of Hamath, and this is the north side. Praise the Lord. We covered all, covered all sides of the whole boundaries of the land of Israel that we're going to inherit in the new kingdom and live and never die. Read it out. Ezekiel 47, 18. Understand this. This is the new kingdom where you live and never die, an inheritance to us for life eternity. Read on. And the east side you shall measure from Hebron and from Damascus, and from the Gilead, <coughs> and from the land of Israel by Jordan, from the border unto the east side, and to this is the east side. Right. And this is the east side. Okay.